I guess I just look up. This is my new camera angle now. Alright, so this is the ten thousand cargo ship by Sadie. Usually, I don't review ships that are mostly for looks, but this one is quite different. As you can see, it only has fourteen thousand PCU, and for a ship that is nicely designed like this, it's rare for it to only have fourteen thousand PCU. And not to mention, it has a decent amount of survival things, even though it's not really optimal in my opinion. But that can be changed because it only has 14,000 PC. So for a ship that is mainly for looks, it's actually quite optimal. As you can see, this is the main entrance and it doesn't have a mirror entrance to the side. Alright, let's go inside now. Here's the main entrance and the textures work are really nicely done. And back here, we have like a mess hall or crew hangout area kind of thing. A very creative use of the industrial conveyor sorter there. You can probably grind down these magnetic plates to save PCU because each of them cost 35 PCU. But yeah, as you can see, the space is very nicely designed without spending too much PCU compared to most ships that are made for looks. And if we go back here, there's the corridor and here's the living quarters that are not using doors, so that's good. It doesn't waste too much PCU, but this bedroom still use doors. So there's that. And here's another one. And from here, we can see the engineering through this window. A very nice use of the pipe conveyor here. Down here, there's the path to engineering that we saw earlier. But let's go back here first. So back here, we have a cryopod room. And this actually makes more sense compared to the beds upstairs because this does look like a ship that will have three people in it and not like seven. So you can probably delete those beds upstairs and just leave the bedroom and maybe add some chairs or something and that will make more sense and will save you some PCU. Alright, let's go to engineering. So you can see how nicely laid out this place is without being too ridiculous in terms of PC. Here's a control station, I mean a helm, well, the same thing. And here's the reactor. Now, let's talk about the production for a bit. They do have a basic refinery and an assembler. For a ship this size, I would say it should probably have a full-size refinery and maybe leave out the reactor for a small one. I think that would make a lot more sense in terms of survival. Oh, and here's the hangar doors. Uh, I'm not sure where the vessel would land after they got it. Maybe they will just land on the door. Or maybe it's just for cargo transfer or something. Anyway, let's go upstairs now. Even though it's not very armed, you can totally add a lot of guns to the ship and it will still be under 20,000 PCU. Not to mention if you grind down all the unnecessary stuff, you can probably fit in even more things that you actually need. So that's really nice. And up here is the bridge. It's also really nicely designed and back here is the exit to the back of the ship. Right, I'm gonna fly this now. So 
it's meant for space only because it doesn't have upward hydrogen it's really slow but I guess this is not a PVP ship it has quite a lot of hydrogen tank and cargo so despite being quite low on PCO it has all the things that it should have in terms of survival minus some things that you can add yourself without too much problem because it has a very low PCO so that's the 10,000 cargo ship it's a really nicely designed ship that's not really optimal for survival but despite being made for looks it has what it should have in terms of it having a good amount of cargo containers and hydrogen tanks and because it's like super low on PCO you can totally add more guns and things that you need to it like a refinery especially if you delete all the unnecessary things you can totally make this very well armed even though it's not gonna do well on PvP because well it's kind of slow and it cannot do planetary flights as well alright let's press this on the asteroid now kind of underwhelming <laughs> so that's the 10,000 cargo ship by Sadie you can find the link in the description below